Hi, this is Chris, and uh, this is my review of my Hewlett Packard 33120A 15 megahertz arbitrary function generator. You can see the back here as well. This is serial number US 36003638. Um, it's been very good to me, and uh, I need to get something that's faster for doing. Uh, RF work. Um, so, we go ahead and actually set this up on uh, on my multimeter here. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to demonstrate this on uh, three different pieces of equipment. Show the calibration. This is my uh, HP 355, um, oh, sorry, 5335A. Uh, um, it's my counter. It's synced with my GPS disciplined oscillator, which is very, very accurate. Um, my oscilloscope here is an Agilent uh, 54622D. Uh, it's 100 uh, megahertz, more than enough to, uh, to uh, check this thing out. And my multimeter that we're going to be checking some of the voltages with is uh, it's a high precision 6.5 digit uh, HP 3457A uh, multimeter and um, we're going to go ahead and uh, just show some different uh, RMS voltages um, typically these are calibrated at, uh, one, at 1 kilohertz across these different ones so that's exactly what I'm going to go ahead and do at higher uh, frequencies I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, do it on this oscilloscope uh, I did um, when I was uh, uh, checking the uh, calibration on this I was also using the LaCroix, but the LaCroix is a lot harder to use and this one's easier for video demonstrations. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, set this to one kilohertz and um, let's go ahead and start with some voltages um, let's say um, point 0.1 uh, volts RMS and we'll wait for the update here Oh, whoops. <laughs> I need 100 hertz. Uh, 1 kilohertz. Let's change over to amplitude. Uh, well, let's, I guess we'll just do 1. Uh, 0.1 volts RMS. Yep, and here we go. 100.2 millivolts. Uh, let's go ahead and. Uh, do half a volt RMS 5.016 that's pretty good um, let's do one volt RMS and this is going through a 50 ohm load it's 100.2 um, volts RMS let's go uh, Sorry, not 100 point, it's uh, 1.002 volts RMS. Let's do 2 volts. 2.0067. And let's do 3 volts. Um, well, we could go ahead and go to higher volts, but I think the highest I can go on this is uh, 3.5 if I have a 50 ohm load. Um, it's going to display 3.51, perfect. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the um, the load off, and I'm going to go ahead and change the output. Whoops. High Z says seven volts RMS. Let's go to six six point zero zero three seven. Five is five point zero zero three one. Four point zero zero two six. 
let's give it a few, let's go to 1. 1.00046. So as you see, without the without the load, um, it's it's be, it's it works a little uh, better because there's different 50 ohm loads. They're not exactly 50 ohms, and it throws the numbers off a little bit more. As you see, uh, just do 0 0.5 volts RMS. 0 0.5004. Very good. And let's just do 0 0.1 volts RMS. So 100.064 um, millivolts, so that's very good. I'm going to go ahead and change the uh, output again to, um, to 50 ohms. And change the amplitude to 1 volts peak to peak. Um, Put the load back on, and now I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, let's start at 15 megahertz and work our way down. And, oops, how about though we're still in amplitude? Uh, one volt peak to peak. And let's change frequency now. 15 megahertz. Okay. Um, whoops. <laughs> let's put that sync on here. And um, now we're going to be able to uh, monitor our frequency as well. As you can see, um, it's within a hertz, even at 15 megahertz. It's about 0.8 hertz off. That's much better than what the factory specifies. And this this thing, um, the oscillator on this is probably two to three decimal places more accurate than what I'm able to display here. So um, anyhow, let's look at this. Um, if you're following the, oh, let's see if there's any way I can get this closer. Well, let's see about focusing in on this because this is a bit more interesting. Okay. So. As you see, the, the sine wave looks really good on this. It's really healthy. It's this, it's right at 15 megahertz. The, the frequency on this thing is bang on across the board. Uh, the voltage is uh, 1.03 effectively. Um, so it's very close. It's um, giving it one volt peak to peak. And now uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, let's move through the frequencies. Let's go to, uh, let's go to 12. So it's 1.01. At 10, it's about 1.01 still. At 7, it's right at about 1 volt. At 5, it's right at about 1. At 3, I have to, uh, it's about 0.99. Same with 2 megahertz. One megahertz, it's about 0 0.9, a little higher than 0 0.98. Let's go into the this kilohertz range. So, 900 kilohertz still there, still at 0 0.98. 700 kilohertz still at 0.98. Which is 0.99 now. Still 0.99 at 500 kilohertz. 300 kilohertz is back to a volt. 200 kilohertz it's a volt. 100 kilohertz, and I need to uh, adjust my oscilloscope. So we're about at uh, 1.2 again, which is about where we started from. Let's uh, take it a notch lower. So at 80, it's about 1.02 again. At uh, 60 kilohertz, 1.02. 40 kilohertz, 
still there. 20 kilohertz, still there. 10 kilohertz, still there. Still there. 6 kilohertz, 3 kilohertz, so just the oscilloscope, 1 kilohertz, it's there. You can even go lower. How about 500? It's 1.03, just where we started from. 100 hertz. 1.03, how about 60 hertz, like our electricity in the US, 1.03, 50 hertz, like the euros, 1.03, 10 hertz, 1.03, so it's, the voltage stays very flat across the board on this thing. Let's go back to 1 kilohertz, And um, actually, hell, why not? Let's just do 100 kilohertz. Now we can try a square wave. Square waves look really good. Let's try a square wave at 1 kilohertz. Beautiful shape. Um, let's do a square wave at. Uh, Oh yeah. So if you look at the if you look at the fall of the of the square wave, the the rise of the wave, it's about sixteen. So it's about sixteen and a half nanoseconds. Um, my Lacroix says it's right at sixteen. So that's that's pretty good. Um, so that's where you get these beautiful wave uh, square waves from. Let's go to uh, one megahertz. And let's square wave it. Looks pretty darn good. Um, let's go back to 100 kilohertz. There's some triangle waves. Um, here's a ramp wave. Here's some noise. Let's go to some of the arbitrary stuff. There's sync. There's a beautiful sync wave. Very sync aficionados. Uh, here's a negative ramp. There's an exponential rise. exponential fall there's a cardiac back to the good old sync wave um, so as you can see um, this thing works very well it's in uh, it's in great condition. Um, if you want to look at the frequencies real quick, you can see just how uh, how did on these frequencies are as well. Just you see right there. So let's go to frequencies. This is uh, it start at uh, one hertz here. One I mean one kilohertz. Kilohertz. Yep. <laughs> so this is one. This is one thousand hertz. Point all these zeros. Point that. So it's pretty impressive to be able to get that close to it. Let's go at uh, ten kilohertz. Let's go at 100 kilohertz. Let's go to megahertz. Let's go at 5 megahertz.
And notice the way this does it. It's doing 5,000 at the third power hertz. So, you might as well be looking at the, the <laughs> you might as well be right here to the, to the first power, you know. Um, and here's 10 megahertz. And here's our max at 15. And it's at 50. So as you can see, it's very, very close. And uh, most of this movement's just typically due to, to temperature drift. So if it's a little warmer like it is uh, today on a warm California day, then it's going to run a little faster as it cools down and run a little slower. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, my review of uh, this this very, very nice function generator over here. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Let me know if you have any questions.